Smash TV. shows the smiles on the faces of the audience and the rapturous applause when each scene ends the lighting the, the color the glamour it gives me so much joy that people appreciate the work that we've done all the six weeks before now um, has turned out to be um, a, a fantastic celebration of our work you know it's not been futile we've done so much work and people people here are appreciating it so I'm very happy and excited about that My first reaction um, when I saw Saro was at last we have a response to all those big musicals that come from South Africa and uh, they just wow all of us when they come here. Um, I think Saro will ask questions of any for any production in the world now the way it is. I would say from scripting to the development in terms of characters and getting the cast and crew together, um, it's been like a year. We had uh, we had Saro one October last year, and then we tried to do a rescript, a rescripting of the play, and then um, it's been tiresome, it's been hectic, and we started rehearsal six weeks ago for this one. Uh, yeah, we did six weeks and it's been amazing. He came in from the distant 1950s with his Afrocentric kind of jazz. And they turned into the 60s when he blended jazz with high up. And ultimately into the 70s when he announced his own original form of music. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the legendary Abba
All right, everybody out there, my name is Wale Ojo, your favorite actor, and you are watching Smash TV. Smash TV. Saro is such a concourse of actions and, you know, characters and scenarios. Well, the story of Saro is all about pursuing your dreams and, um, and, fo and just following your passion. So I think that's a lesson for anybody is that never give up. Regardless of what happens, always follow your dreams. I would have regretted if I watched the show. But I don't regret that I performed for you. If I watched someone else perform that to me, no, I would not like that. I like that I performed it to you.
a place where the roads are less but still are gold. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Don't we have to die first before we get there? Ah, oh, come on, light on. I'm not talking about the place in heaven. I'm talking about the place on earth. Where? For Saro too, the the focus is was more on the boys, the four boys who have left their comfort zone to come into the city to to make it. Um, for Saro one, um, we we set out to identify Don Cito as the realist, the one who dreamt, who wants to do the thing. But this time around, the, the focus is more on the boys. They have left their comfort zone in search of a better life. Don Cito in this Saro two. It's just a catalyst or a medium for them to achieve their dream, yeah. dynamics of the play, the way we have done it, every scene is, is going to prepare you for the other. So it's very, very interesting. You'll be looking forward to more. That's, that's the way we've done it. And I'm happy as well.
Yeah, one of my favorite parts. I think the, the cell. Favorite part in the play? Where you have the slaves come out. I like that. So I am taking a lot lesson from the play. Like, um, you know, the slavery scene is so touching. Most of us don't know the history of uh, Lagos. I'm playing the character of Arunke and I play Don Cito's daughter. She's Don Cito's very spoiled daughter, only child, um, but she kind of has a heart of gold. She means well, but she's kind of used to getting her own way, so that pretty much sums up Arunke. Lovely, I had a nice time coming. Like, I didn't waste my time coming. It was fun. I really enjoyed myself. Very, very interesting and um, very entertaining. I had a very wonderful time. Smash TV. My name is Kenneth Uhuhu, director of Saru 2, the musical. Oh, my director, it's a fun person and um, 
when he's walking, oh, it's like Chilean, I'm walking right now. Uh, uh, but it's fun working with him. It's a great man. I worked with him before, uh, so it's not my first time. Mr. Kenneth, he has such a great vision um, and he, he knows how to tell a good story. The directors were fantastic, from the acting director to the dance director to the music director. Once they have what they envision, they just tell you and you have to work it and do it. Kenneth Uoho is uh, somebody I will call my, my brother. You know, I've worked with him on a number of projects and really each time I work with Kenneth it's like doing a stress-free work. The director Kenneth Wu is a very nice guy, very committed, very humble. Uh, I've known him over time. I've known, we, grew, we grew up together in this industry so working with him wasn't too much of a problem for me. Oh after I would love to work with Mr. Cape again. I'm Juliana Dede, the official costumer of Saro the Musical. Working with different people is patient and um, it's fun because you get to see different characters, different people, you know, with different attitude that you need to manage. So it's, that, to me it's fun, you know, it makes you grow. Doing what you know how to do best, it's fun. You have to manage all kinds of people, manage emotions, egos and all that. The support, the support gang, the crew, wardrobe, makeup, props, set, sound, the band, you know, incredible, incredible, incredible people. I enjoyed it. I'm pretty excited. We, we're ending on a very high note. Um, we've had 11 shows and this is the final one. Everything from the, from the first show to the 11th show, everything memorable. Um, but for me, I will walk away from here with the music. The music is just inspiring. It's, it's going to be in my head for a while.